Demonstrators marched through the streets of Sacramento, California's capital city, for a second day Friday. They were protesting the police shooting of an unarmed 22-year-old black man last week. He was judged, he was sentenced, and he was executed. The protesters blocked traffic and shouted slogans and dented a car that tried to pass through. One group attempted to block a major highway but were prevented from doing so by California Highway Patrol officers in riot gear. Stephen Clark died in his own backyard, killed by a hail of police bullets. I don't care what color he was, no, no person on this earth deserves to be shot down like that. I just broke the window, running south, running to the south. Newly released video from a police helicopter shows Clark running and climbing over a fence in a neighborhood where police were responding to a report of a man breaking into cars. All I can tell is he's got a hoodie on. Police wearing body cameras cornered Clark, and within seconds, the encounter turned deadly. Show me your hands! Gun, gun, gun! The policemen did not identify themselves before firing 20 times. They said they believed Clark was holding a gun, but he was only carrying a cell phone. Shortly after the shooting, another officer tells the policemen to silence the audio of their body cameras. Clark's family and friends want to know what was said after the sound went off. You're muting something. You don't want the public to hear what you're saying. And that means that if you don't want the truth to come out, then all of it is a lie. Police are promising a full investigation. We're asking for the community to be patient. Clark's death at the hands of Sacramento police is the latest in a long series of controversial police killings of unarmed black men. The deaths gave rise to the Black Lives Matter movement and have heightened racial tensions in communities all across the United States. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Sacramento, California.